Learning Go isn't the shiny shortcut to becoming a 10x developer. It's not the golden ticket to back-end mastery. Go is lean, strict, and unapologetically boring. And that's exactly why most beginners quit before they even touch its real power. Developers come from Python, JavaScript, or even Java, ecosystems packed with frameworks, hand-holding, and a buffet of just-install-this-library solutions. Then they meet Go. Suddenly, there's no sugar, no magic. You can't just duct-tape a mess of dependencies and call it a day. Go forces you to confront the fundamentals, types, concurrency, memory management. The language feels too simple, until you realize that simplicity is a trap for lazy coding habits. Go was never designed to coddle you. It was built at Google, to solve Google scale problems. It strips away the crutches other languages give you, and that's why so many devs try Go and bounce back to their comfort zone. But if you push through, you gain discipline. You stop over-engineering. You learn to think in concurrency, not callbacks and hacks. That's why top developers at Uber, Dropbox, and Cloudflare live in Go now. Go isn't replacing Python for quick scripts or JavaScript for frontends. But it is quietly eating the backend world. Startups pick it because they can scale without rewriting everything. And devs who stick with it. They become ridiculously employable, because Go engineers are scarce, and companies pay a premium for people who can wrangle performance without chaos. Learning Go is harder than it looks, but it's also the smartest bet you can make for a back-end career. You'll either bounce off it, or you'll come out sharper, faster, and in demand.